We are now only two days away from the premiere of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney+. Plus, Or, I guess, technically, it's tomorrow night if you're staying up for it. But I'm not. I mean, I, I'm going to go get a little sleepy time in. And then I'm going to wake up and watch it. But, yeah, I am so excited for this episode. And just excited for this series overall. Out of all the Disney Plus series announced... Obviously, I was super excited for WandaVision because I love those two characters, especially Vision in the MCU. But I have to say that the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, out of all the MCU Disney Plus series when they were first announced, this is the one I was most excited for. Because one of the big rumors about this show is that it is going to set up the Thunderbolts for the MCU. And I just can't wait to see the Thunderbolts. They're going to be awesome. It's a team of villains throughout the MCU that's it's basically Marvel's Suicide Squad so it's gonna be really cool to see and we know that they're gonna be set up in this series and now recently uh in well probably multiple interviews at this point uh one of the I believe it was either the director or the producer somebody that worked on this show was asked about cameos in this series and actually no no it was Anthony Mackie that was asked and he said that there's a few surprises or cameos in this series and, you know, not obviously didn't tell us, but that gives us some room to theorize here. Now, we don't want to jump to any conclusions and get too hyped up because, well, that's what we did with WandaVision. And look where what happened there. You know, there were people, I mean, to be fair, people were doing like outrageous claims, like with the whole big superstar Luke Skywalker level cameo in that series, people were saying, oh, it's Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, Patrick Stewart. Professor Xavier, like, that that was kind of a bit outrageous. But we do know there's going to be actual cameos here, although, again, with WandaVision, they said there was a cameo, just turned out to be Paul Bettany as White Vision. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be actual cameos here, and I'm really excited to find out who this is. Like, we know that Rhodey, uh, Don Cheadle, is going to be appearing in the series. I believe it's actually in the first episode, uh, most likely for Captain America's funeral. So that's going to be cool. That's just one of those cool little cameos and uh, appearances that we're going to be getting. But with the setup for the Thunderbolts, this leaves to open the possibility for multiple villain cameos as well. Uh, like, we know this movie, it, I mean, this series is tied to the Black Widow movie, even though this is coming out before it now, which was messed up with the schedule and everything. But apparently, Yelena Belova is going to be in this series at some point, so that's going to be pretty cool to see. Uh, and honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if Taskmaster was as well. I mean, that that is obviously if he survives the events of Black Widow, which hopefully he does. I'd love to see him join the Thunderbolts. So those are two possible candidates, and well, Yelena has actually been confirmed, but Taskmaster is possible. We know that General Thunderbolt Ross is going to be showing up here. Maybe there might be some setup for Red Hulk possibly in the future with the Thunderbolts. We we know Batroc the Leaper is going to be in here. Uh, we know um, we know that Abomination is going to be returning for She-Hulk. So there could totally be a scene here where he pops up here because we know that he's currently in the containment and the uh, holding of Shield, I believe. So there could easily be just a quick glimpse of like, oh, when we're going to see Zemo when he's breaking out of jail or however he gets out, you just walk by the cell of the Abomination or something. That that could be really cool. So really, there's a lot of possibilities here. Even like maybe uh, Arnim Zola. Arnim Zola has been heavily rumored. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw Arnim Zola. Red Skull maybe because now he's been freed from guarding the Soul Stone and he is a big Captain America villain. He's actually the Captain America villain. So it honestly wouldn't surprise me if we got some crazy villain cameos like this to set up for the Thunderbolts and the future of the MCU. So guys, of course, let me know down in the comments below what cameos do you think we will be seeing in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Just remember, don't come up with any ideas of anything too outrageous. You know, no Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, or X-Men or anything. But definitely do get hyped. So I can't wait for this, but thanks so much for watching. Please drop like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything goes on.